all know movies aren't real, but with today's VFX, we have no way of telling the real from the fake. That being said, VFX allow for us to see actors doing their job while dressed in their underwear or talking to an empty room. And that sure is funny. So here are the 20 funny moments with actors caught without digital effects. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 20, that's not a dragon, Game of Thrones. Dorgon, Ragael, and Viseron look much cooler on the big screen than they do in the actual movie. You see, since HBO couldn't find real dragons that they could use on the set, they had to improvise. And that's partially the reason you see Danny sitting atop a giant rotating and wobbling structure covered with a green blanket. They just film the motions and then add the dragon using CGI. You know what? We're kind of disappointed now that we know. Number 19, James Spader and Mark Ruffalo in gray suits, Avengers Age of Ultron. James Spader played Ultron, the dystopian robot in Avengers Age of Ultron. The movie looked cool, there's no doubt about that, but the actors on set couldn't help but laugh every time they saw him. Imagine this, on the set you have this powerful robot that's built from the toughest substance on the planet, and then behind the scenes you see him dressed in tights talking to the freaking Hulk, who is also dressed in tights. Try getting a girl's phone number wearing that. Number 18, Thorin lost it before seeing the gold, The Hobbit. Now, we know that the gold has the power to provoke greed in a man, but Thorin took it too far. And if we saw this performance on set, we would have known he would become cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at the end. He was talking to a green ball. There was no one there. No one, all kidding aside, it was this green ball that helped Peter Jackson capture the effects of the dwarves being smaller than elves. Number 17, Lucifer with the GoPro on his head, Lucifer. This show has been enjoying a lot of popularity lately, and for good reason. When you have a show with the devil on earth, then you know it's going to be good. But it seems like the actors on set didn't get to enjoy the quote unquote full demonic experience. Why? Because Tom Ellis smashed that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it was actually because he was wearing a GoPro and what looks like those giant cartoon braces. Fluttering? We think not. The theme of the day is your lowest point. Right, my lowest point. Well, geographically that would be hell, of course. Hard to get much lower than that. Number 16, Thanos and the Cardboard Portrait, Avengers Endgame. One of the toughest villains the Avengers had to face was the man who could wield all of the Infinity Stones, and even he didn't look that intimidating without those gorgeous VFX. You see, to simulate the height of Thanos, Josh Brolin had to wear an entire cardboard cutout with the face of Thanos on his back. That way, instead of looking directly at him, they looked at the cardboard. I know what I must do. I will read this universe down to its last atom. Number 15, The Shark King Dance, The Flash. CW's The Flash is all the rage at the moment. It's the superhero show that brings justice to this red and yellow speedster. However, we found a footage of what the villain Shark King looked without all of that CGI. This is a computerized animation without the intricate layers and yes, he was dancing. Number 14, Tony Stark's Trouble with the Suit, Iron Man 3. Tony Stark is the coolest person in this Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Robert Downey Jr. is no exception. Although, he does have some embarrassing moments on set. One in particular that comes to mind is the scene where Tony creates the self-propelling suit parts. The scene looked a little embarrassing, but the cast and the crew were looking at all of this without the special effects. It was just him, a bunch of strings, and of course, a gray suit. If you ask us, the only thing that was the same was that kick in the crotch. Number 13, Flaming Bear's Head, or a guy in a green suit, Game of Thrones. Remember that scene where a Tormund giant Spain was fighting the Flaming Bear? Well, the movie scene looked cool, but they didn't bring a bear or set it on fire for the film. It was all just a green screen. And here you can see Tormund fighting a fierce and powerful greened ball with a little flame to simulate the fire. This is the biggest letdown in the history of Game of Thrones. Number 12, Thanos looks different, no? 
Avengers Infinity War. Some of us loved seeing Thor shove that axe through Thanos' heart. Others thought he was a super good villain. Regardless of preferences, this scene was just awesome. Although that's not what the actors thought. You see, unlike the movies on the set, Thanos wore a gray suit and he had the Infinity Gauntlet that looked like it was built from plastic. Imagine Chris's reaction when he just pretended to shove an axe through his chest. Awkward. Number 11, the weird dot makeup, Lucifer. We saw his face without the CGI, but now we get to see how the face came to be. Before shooting a scene, he would have to sit in the makeup chair for hours while artists drew black and white dots on his face. Yeah, that's what you want to see the devil doing before a scene. Did you know there's a special section of hell reserved for bullies, so have fun. Number 10, White Walkers LED Lights, Game of Thrones. Do you think the White Walkers in Game of Thrones are cool? Yeah, we do too. But did you know that the actors who played them had to wear glasses with blue LED lights that would simulate their blue eyes? We wouldn't either. You see, we both learned something. Number 9, Swarge never saw a tiger on set, Life of Pi. In the movie Life of Pi, you see the main character, Pi Patel, have to fight a tiger on that small boat of his. The scene looked cool, but not the behind the scenes footage. In this video, you can clearly see Swarj poking the non-existent tiger. Man, that must have been awkward. Number 8, Damn That Last Throne Looks Bad, Lucifer. The trailer for season 5 of Lucifer featured him sitting on his throne ruling over all of hell from above. On the set, however, the scene was not as glamorous. He was sitting on a plastic chair made to look like rocks. And then there was a green screen behind him. Not the tall mountain we expect here, but okay. Number 7, James Spader has a rot sticking out his back. Avengers Age of Ultron. Here's another little interesting tidbit about the time James Spader played Ultron in Avengers. You see, because this futuristic robot was so tall, the actors couldn't just look straight at his face. To simulate his height, they placed a rod with two red LEDs as his eyes, and the actors had to look at them instead of the actor. Number 6, Bella Potts Jacob, Twilight. Now this one made us crack up. We know that Jacob could turn into a werewolf, we just didn't know that this is how he did it. I mean seriously, this scene not only looks awkward, it's also degrading. If you don't believe us, look at the face of Taylor Lautner. He looks like he's about to cry. Number 5, Mowgli didn't ride a tiger, they were two men. Mowgli. The Jungle Book was a decent adaption of the old Disney cartoon, but it had some weird moments behind the scenes. Specifically the scene where Mowgli rides the tiger. Knowing that a tiger would rip Neil Sethi apart, they had to settle for two guys in tight green suits carrying him on their back. Number 4, The Flash Chases Without CGI, The Flash. We already talked about the Shark King, but now we're here to show you what those speedster chases look like behind the scenes. While running in place, these guys have the time to goof around and that's why you see Grant Gustin sticking his tongue out. Number 3, that was not a giant elk, The Hobbit. This one was a big surprise for us. We first thought that the giant elk that Thradrill rode in The Hobbit was some CGI version of the creature, but then we found out that Lee Pace was actually riding a horse on the set of the film. Ironically enough, the horse's name was Moose, and he was the tallest they could find. So that's why you see Thradrill look so majestic riding it. Number 2, Smog is not as cool in real life. The Hobbit Desolation of Smog. This list couldn't go on without mentioning Benedict Cumberbatch in The Hobbit. And if you're wondering what kind of dwarf he played in The Hobbit, he didn't. Benedict played Smog, and he had to be completely alone and wearing a gray suit for the entire performance. Number 1, Gorilla Grodd scratching his butt, The Flash. Gorilla Grodd is the most intelligent primate to have ever lived, but the actor playing him, not so much. In this scene, you can see him wearing that giant CGI suit and scratching his butt on camera. Not as intelligent as you thought now, is it? And on that note, we end this video, but hey, what are some of your favorite VFX moments? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.